Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you. This is Pastor Carlos Rivera with New Life Outreach International Church in Richmond, Virginia. So glad you guys are joining me today. This is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice. We're going to be glad in it. Kim Super Cooper is the first one on my screen. God bless you. God bless you. Well, listen, I want to get right into God's word this morning. Lynn Bell is here as well, but I want to get right into God's word. And today, as people are coming on board, I just want to think and thank. <laughs> You're a think about what God has done and then just begin to thank him because he's been so good to you. I believe that this is a season where we just have to reflect. I don't know about you, but man, the weather has been so challenging right now. I mean, it has been something else. But I think about God's goodness. I think about God's grace and God's mercy. And I just really begin to just be grateful. Just be, just think and then just thank the Lord for all the wonderful things that he's doing as well, right? Uh, at, at the same time, we know that God has a great plan for every one of us. And, and we know that at times like this, it can be very challenging, right? And one of the things that I want to encourage uh, encourage you this morning. Matter of fact, I was thinking about this today, and uh, and and I think somebody just needed to hear this because sometimes we can get so caught up in our own circumstances, and then when they're really challenging, we can think that maybe God doesn't love us, right? Sometimes we can feel uh, feel that way, and 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 when I look at the cross, I realize that the cross is the ultimate display of God's love. So I want you to know that you are valuable. You are, as I drop that in the chat right now, you are valuable. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for your word this morning that will minister to our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. You are valuable. Look what Luke chapter 12, verses 6 and 7 has to say. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very head, the hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. See, that's such a powerful verse that reminds us how valuable that you and I really are to God. Drop this in the chat if you're taking notes right now. Besides our eternal security, Jesus reminds us of our eternal value. See, God never forgets a single sparrow. Do you ever feel insignificant at times? See, God treasures you so much, he counts the hairs on your head. See, you are worth more than a whole flock of sparrows. And you see, it, it, of course, sparrows, <clears throat> I mean, they don't really have to work for what they do. Uh, they just, they exist, they fly, but God provides for every need. And I want you to know that God's going to provide for every need in your life as well. See, God loves you more in a moment than anyone could in a lifetime. Go ahead and drop that in the chat right now. God loves you more in a moment than anyone could love you in a lifetime. And we need to be reminded of God's love. We need to be reminded that the Lord really does care and really does want us to know that so that you feel valuable, so that you know that God's grace and mercy is with you this morning. Amen. God loves you so much. And sometimes because we get in that place <clears throat> of maybe feeling less than, uh, maybe praying uh, and, uh, and maybe just feeling alone, because that could happen. We can feel very alone at times. But, with, but know that God loves you and God has made a way for you and God provides for every need that you have and every need that I have as well. See, God loves us. And sometimes we just need to pray, God, restore my joy. Drop that in the chat right now. Restore my joy. See, joy, the joy that God gives us is so important, such an integral part of our Christian walk. Look what God's word says here in John uh, 15, 11. It says, these things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. You see, joy is gladness, not based on circumstances, See, joy is a choice. Drop that in the chat right now. Joy is a choice. See, after enduring a major setback, it's easy to lose our joy. The enemy knows if he steals our joy, he will rob our strength. 
See, we need to ask God to restore our joy. See, find joy every day, not because life is always good, but because God is good. See, know that the joy that we have doesn't come from the outside, from things that are happening exterior, on the exterior. No, no, no. The joy that we have comes from the inside, comes from the interior, comes from knowing that God is a good God. And no matter how challenging things are around us, we know that the joy is super important. Joy is very, very important. So, so understand that and realize that the joy that you have, that's your strength. That's your strength and that's my strength as well. And you know, uh, we need to, to know that sometimes if we've gone through a challenging moment where we feel less than, that we feel maybe God doesn't love you, listen, God loves you. And God wants you to restore your joy because that joy is your strength this morning, amen. And we really need to get ready to rebuild. See, at times, uh, the, the reason things get so challenging is because stuff's been torn down. I mean, this has been a season. This has been, uh, this this last couple of years have been so difficult and the stress and the strain has been very, very challenging. But get ready to rebuild. Drop that in the chat right now. Get ready to rebuild. In Nehemiah chapter two, verse 18, it says this, I also told them about the gracious hand of my God on me and what the king had said to me. And they replied, listen to this, let us start rebuilding. So they began this good work. Mm. So you have to remember in the scripture of Nehemiah, the city was in ruins and the protecting city wall had been rendered useless. It was totally destroyed. But it was so amazing that with faith in God and an all-out effort, despite the enemy's opposition and a seemingly impossible task, the people of Jerusalem under Nehemiah's leadership rebuilt the wall in 52 days. That was an amazing construction project to build all the walls around Jerusalem in 52 days. It was very challenging, especially since the enemy was watching and was trying to distract them and trying to disrupt that construction project. I mean, so you have to remember they had a brick in one hand and a sword in the other. See, that's the way our lives have to be at times, and that's just the way it seems to be anyway, is that we have to continue to build while we fight. We have to keep putting bricks up in one hand and a sword in the other and we do it simultaneously because that that's how they were able to do it right because at times they're being attacked they would be on the wall and all of a sudden they would attack they have to get off the wall for a moment and take a sword and start fighting and then once they, they were able to defeat the enemy then they got back on the wall and kept on building listen i want you to know that though the enemy attacks just know that the sword of the spirit that you have the sword is the word of God and that those bricks that you're building are the prayers that are accumulating and building as you continue, as you continue to build, as you continue to move on and strengthen your life. Just know that God is with you, that you are not alone. Amen. This means that the season where things are torn down, things will be re rebuilt up again. And, and as you consider your circumstances, is there something that looks difficult? But you know that God wants you to do. Then I want you to know if God's called you to do it, he'll give you the strength and he'll give you all the things that you need to get it done. See, it's time to pray. Believe in God. Believe in God's word. And I want to encourage you today that no matter what's been going on in your life, no matter how torn down it seems, I want you to know it's time to rebuild. See, this is your best life now. So just continue to press in. I know it's hard. I know it's challenging, but with God's help and God's power and God's spirit, you're gonna make it. And not only are you gonna make it, you're not just gonna survive, but you're gonna thrive. Because what we go through doesn't come to tear us down, it comes to make us stronger. And you'll get big, you'll be bitter, better, excuse me. You'll be better and you won't be bitter because you'll know that God loves you and God's going to restore your joy as well. Amen. Well, praise God. I'm so glad you joined me this morning for this Bible study, right? I pray you'll be blessed. And if you're blessed by the Bible study, make sure you hit share 
at the end of this gathering. Amen. We're going to pray right now, and we're going to believe God for awesome and mighty things. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We praise you this morning for your goodness. We thank you, Lord God, for your grace and for your mercy. And Lord, in Jesus' name, we know, oh God, that you are a priority. Let not my will, but let your will be done. And Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for providing for every single need in our lives. And Father, we praise you and thank you for your provision today. And Heavenly Father, forgive us of our sin. Cleanse us of all unrighteousness this morning, O oh God, that we may walk holy in your sight. And Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to forgive others as well as you forgave us. Lord, Lord God, that we will not hold any grudges, we will not hold any negativity or any anything, any bitterness or resentment towards anyone, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father God, for we can release them to you right now in Jesus' name, and Lord, I thank you for your protection, I pray, oh God, that you'll protect us and guard us and camp your angels around us, and all day long, Lord God, just be with us. And Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord God, that we are valuable in your sight, that you love us with an everlasting love. And when we look at the cross, we can see your ultimate demonstration of love, that you gave your only Son, that whoever believes in you shall not perish, but have eternal life. Thank you, Lord God, for the love that you've shared with us, the love that you've demonstrated, Father, in the name of of Jesus and Lord restore our joy restore the joy of our salvation this morning oh God that we could truly truly flow with you father God that we could truly understand that that joy comes from the inside not from what's happening on the outside Lord God just knowing Lord God that you love us you care for us that our salvation is secure in you father God that no matter how difficult this world may seem we know Lord God that they Things will get better. They always do. So, Father, we just thank you and we praise you for the victory in that, oh God. And Lord, I pray right now that you'll give us the spirit to rebuild. Lord God, to not be weary in doing well, but to continue, Lord God, to build one brick upon one brick, oh God, and continue to gather, Father God and Lord, and continue to fight, Lord God, to know that there's going to be challenges, but Lord, we will not quit. We will not quit fighting. We will not quit claiming your word and declaring your promises. And we just thank you for the victory in Jesus' name. And Father God, I pray for those right now on our prayer list, oh God, that need salvation. I pray that today will be their day of salvation. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, that you will draw them to the cross. In Jesus' name, we know that you are a healer. You are God, our healer. So today, begin to heal your people. Touch them right now where they are. That they will, he they will sense your healing power right now. In Jesus' name, and Lord, thank you for the freedom. Thank you, my God, in Jesus' name, Lord God, for the liberty, for breaking chains, Lord God, of depression, breaking chains, Lord God, uh, of, of feeling less than, uh, breaking chains, Father God, of fear right now, in Jesus' name, uh, break chains of discouragement right now, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that our hope and our trust is in you right now, Father, in Jesus' name, and Lord, begin to restore relationships, heal marriages right now, Father God, by your grace and your mercy, that love and acceptance and forgiveness will take place right now, in Jesus' name, and Father God, we pray for miracles. You said you would confirm your word with miracles and signs and wonders. Holy Spirit, right now, touch him. Touch us, oh God, right now, Father. Let those miracles be loosened right now from heaven. Lord God, thank you, Lord God, right now for your miracle working power because you said it may be impossible for man, but with God, all things are possible. So thank you, Father God, for, for the impossible things that nothing else could make happen but you. So, Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, I thank you for divine doors that are opening, divine contacts, divine new relationships that you're bringing into our lives, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. 
And Father, thank you for your supernatural favor right now, Lord God. That favor, Lord God, we don't deserve it, but it's your favor. It's your grace. It's your mercy, Father God. It's your goodness and your greatness that's with us everywhere we go, Lord God, that your mercy would be always with us. And no matter where we go today, that people would want to help us. People would, would want to assist us with everything that we need because of your divine favor, Lord God. And Lord, thank you, Father God, that our dreams are being manifested, that our goals are being achieved, that we can continue to move forward every single day closer and closer, Lord God, to our destinies, Father God, as we move in your direction, oh God, Thank you for your instructions, oh God. We thank you for the victory this morning, Lord God. That no matter what we're going through right now, we declare it, we proclaim it, and we thank you right now for the victory in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. So glad they were able to gather together today. So glad that you got together. God rose up early this morning, amen, to have a great time of worship and praise. Well, praise God. Well, listen, I want to go ahead and close. We always close with the scripture. And today's scripture is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, where it says this, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Mm. Just know that God does make a way even when things are impossible. And when the temptation to quit is there, don't quit. God has something great in store for you. And remember, the size of the battle Come on, somebody, reflects the size of the blessing that's going to come as well. Amen. Well, I hope you were encouraged today. Just remember when times are tough, it's important to remember that everyone experiences hardships and that God will not let you be tempted beyond what you can handle. In the end, God will help you through. Amen. You know, turn to God. He will sustain you. He will in, help you to endure as well. And remember that regular prayer like we do every single morning here at Walking in the Spirit and keeping God in our hearts is a great way to keep our spirits lifted up. Amen. Even if we are physically challenged, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, we can keep ourselves lifted up by reassuring us ourselves with God's word. And of course, times in prayer. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, listen, I'm going to pray over you right now as we end our gathering. It's always a blessing and an honor to be with you. Uh, so let me just pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you and I praise you for your people. Bless them this day. Holy Spirit, touch them. Bless them and keep them. Shine your face upon them. Be gracious to them. Lord, lift up your confidence towards them and give them peace in Jesus' name. Oh, praise God. I hope you are blessed today. I know you are, amen. You started the day off well, and God's got great and mighty things for you. So have a great and marvelous day, and always remember, always remember that when you're walking in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh, amen. God bless you, Lord willing. I'll see you again right here tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. with Walking in the Spirit. God bless you.